So here's some stuff that happened over the week, uh, which we can just touch on. So Amazon has started rolling out their drone delivery service in Lockford, California. Play houses in Lockford, California are very big backyards. So it's like the perfect testing ground for Amazon to be dropping parcels in those backyards. <laughs> but we also heard that Amazon might be coming to South Africa. And if yes. they come to South Africa and they implement drone delivery, if you are near the warehouse of Amazon, you could have delivery in an hour from your order. Wow. Making an Oof. order and it arrives in an hour. Imagine. It's like checkers 60 and 60 yeah. for flipping Amazon. <laughs> yeah. That's wow. really cool. But um, let me just not drop it on you. What, let's say you're in, in the backyard busy tanning and then this drone drops your pass on. <laughs> <laughs> well, even with checkers 60 and 60, I see it's like um, meat outside. Uh, meet at door or yeah. leave at door yeah leave you know? at door. <laughs> and i just feel like i'm sorry a checkers guy can drop some parcels at your door pretty inconspicuously yeah. but if someone in my neighborhood gets a drone <laughs> delivery i'm on it you know i see exactly which house this drone just landed at yeah you know, it came with a parcel left without one you know <laughs> south africa you're gonna be playing a careful game exactly you're gonna be like drone snipers they're just like surveying <laughs> for drone yeah. deliveries <laughs> Um, and NASA has now ha created three design concepts for nuclear fission reactors on the moon, which could be starting as soon as 2030. So this is like pre-built power, essentially, as because they want to do some degree of colonization on the moon. Um, and that will ensure that there's a sufficient power generation mythology in there that can uh, that can get get them power that they need if they're if they are going to do that on the moon so there's three concepts for these nuclear fission reactors and it kind of just looks like a a poolside umbrella to be honest if, oh. if you have to pick it looks like, just like an umbrella kind of thing yeah um but a very big one and now there's also a new advanced quantum computer and the reason that this isn't just a normal quantum computer story is because this quantum computer has now been been made available publicly which meaning which means you can go and actually crunch some numbers uh, with this publicly available quantum computer but it's by no means a, a baby quantum computer this thing is powerful they actually did a test so a task that would take a normal supercomputer not a quantum computer not a household computer a supercomputer 9000 years to complete was completed by the quantum computer in 30 microseconds mm. Damn, son. So that kind of puts it in, and that's publicly available. Wow. Yeah. Not to do malicious things, but we're very new. Yeah. You know, quantum computers, especially one like that, is built for a very specific purpose. It's not very malleable. Like a computer, your computer can open a Word document and then go into uh, Photoshop and then go play a video game. You know, quantum computers are a little bit more challenging than that. So the publicly available part is them trying to create software based layers that can use the quantum computer's power. But it's available to the public free of charge no subscription wow. fee nothing you can go play around that's insane that's super cool right yeah that's super cool google hangouts is dead by the end of this year done yeah have you ever used google hangouts N once or twice yeah i think and i you? got a I, I see google hangouts every time i log into my gmail but it's literally like telling me i had a voice call from 2017 <laughs> you know what i mean like i have hardly used it i don't even know what so you're it really not using does. it anymore so obviously that's a thing people aren't using it anymore that's the problem probably people are, or everybody's using what what do you call that uh, all the other things yeah it's like what what's the better alternative to google hangouts like slack or discord or yeah um one of those definitely yeah. even a telegram group but i hate telegram group 